You think I'm not doing it quick enough, don't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> we do things in different ways. We approach projects differently. So we are going to finish off the teardown of this and hopefully by the end of this video, this bike will be just a frame and an engine up the corner. And Tom will have all his parts back that he's keeping. Yeah. For save and... We will have a list of parts that we want purchasing yep. to go towards a new build. It's great spending other people's money, isn't it? <laughs> so, I suppose, let's get taking it apart. Fuel tank, off. Must be rocket fuel. Mind the paint. Oh yeah. I got all them warnings last week. Well, you know. We don't talk about what's on the bench. Sneaky things. Sneaky things. Things coming up. Things coming up. I'm going to show people because although I put a picture on Instagram, yep. not everyone that watches our YouTube is on our Instagram and vice and if versa. Not, why not? But yeah, we have. From Not Chris. forgotten about our own bikes. So yes, from Chris, we have air filter, we have clutch springs, and we have camshafts for upgrading and improving our scrambler. Yes. When we do the video to put these things on, we're also going to do the safe start video. We are. There it is. It's a beautiful thing. More of these, look. More of these, they're oh, everywhere. Spiky yeah, they're things. Hate them. Mm -hmm. Hate them, hate them, hate them. They're going in the bin. Caught the hay fever. You can't catch hay fever. Oh. But I have been suffering this week. All of the pollens decided it's going to come up and get me. Off with one of these. I can't see what they're doing. It's not on my side. Ah. Do you believe it? I think he's been on there a while. Jim, why smell it? Why put it so close to your face? You have to. <laughs> it's the law. So hang on, remind me what way around we are. Are we imperial or are we metric on this bike? Because oh, there was there's some, more reading on this. There were some comments and I replied to somebody's comment. I don't actually know if I was correct, but I just replied to somebody and said, I think we're a bit of both. Because <laughs> it felt like last time, it felt a bit like we were half and half. It's a weird situation. So that's, that's imperial. That's nine sixteenths. Right. Which is pretty close to 14 mil, but not quite. Um, but a lot of the bolts for the, like, the rails for the mudguard were metric um, sized hex. So the spanner was metric. Right. However, there is a but there because the threads, some of them are imperial. So the nut, the nut itself... The hexagon shaped nut is object or metric. metric flat to flat flat to flat but the, the thread the thread the thing that it's winding onto be like is a the unified opposite. thread or a british standard depending on what it is and that's the opposite yeah oh how that feels really strange yeah it feels like it shouldn't work on a sandwich bag probably um, oh, no no that's fine you sure yeah cause I'm doing it. i don't know how good that footage was because i was looking the other way and wafting the camera around okay that's one car brett off and he's not going back on and there might be uproar about that i'm not sure some people have been asking um about whether it's a rebuild or a restoration um and now to me they were wanting the same thing no well restoration to me says we're putting something back to a factory fitted standard something 
If you're restoring something, you're restoring it to a former glory of how it came out of somewhere in my head. Yes. A rebuild gives you a bit more leeway and flexibility in what you may want to do. Yes. So, this comes under rebuild then, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, and there was, there was some comments about I don't know, potentially it should be left as it is and yeah that sort of thing and we spoke about it didn't we in the week and it's the idea that if it was left exactly as it was even if we recommissioned it as it was it wouldn't get used no it would sit as an ornament and i don't know i don't know how other people feel fully feel, feel free to comment and join in but personally i feel it's better to have something that's usable yeah i agree but yeah it's uh it's, it's a it's, it's a personal opinion it but then depends on the bike as well for me like for these i get i get the idea yes it's an original indian spec bullet but they've made so many of them and it's not like it's a 50s redditch built 350 bullet it's a 2005 yeah it okay doesn't... so the maybe the rarer it is the more limited edition it maybe is then yeah. yes maybe keep it as is because that's okay got more i don't know sentimental value is what come in my head more sort of significant yeah that's a good word that's a really good word yeah so I don't, um yeah for me I, I just think for where it's at and it's it shouldn't be about cost because I don't think it all is, but the price point of these bikes and how, you know, they're readily available in original state. And this one is, it's been used. It's, it's, it's been used. It's got a good story. And like you say, if we put it to a place where Tom can continue to use it, give it some life, give it some joy, and Katie can keep the parts safe that were of her dad's, of her orig his original bike that ticks both boxes for them. I yeah. suppose when I think about, well, if you're not using it, so I'm going to get rid of it because there's no point it just sitting and being ornamental. For me, that's not just bikes. I think that's quite just how I am across the board. With everything. With lots of things, yeah. For mm. me, if something needs to be used. And this um, doesn't suit Tom. Yeah, no. In the, in the, in the standard style, so. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather it be how you would like it and then it gets used and some of the stuff we're changing are choice i say upgrades but like so let me just grab that so i'll just take it off so this is a separate regulator and rectifier assembly yeah which is as fitted mm -hmm. um on the indian bit ones the redditch one as it would have been in the 50s and 60s would have had a separate plate rectifier and a zener diode and different things to regulate this is big and bulky and unnecessary now you can get like on our bsa we've got an ultra efficient mosfet unit like what we put on freddy's bike mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's really efficient takes up a lot less space doesn't make any difference to how the bike looks yeah but it's a choice upgrade yeah uh same with the electronic ignition he wants to move over to that well, some of these things make it lighter then. It makes it lighter. It just makes it more reliable. Like the ignition coil. So this is a oil-filled, um, probably a Lucas. It's Lucas coil, but it will be a reproduction from the new version of Lucas. They're not very efficient. They're power hungry. It doesn't have a very big battery. And then you start looking at things like the positive cables. It's just not substantial. Mm. Now, they're not heavy consumption in terms of electricity and, and that but you can just make it a damn sight more robust which is what we're going to do so yeah i think the upgrades we're making are are valid sounds like you've got a plan for this bike i've been asking all week what's going on and actually i think it's just somewhere in the back of here and somewhere it's... <laughs> but so from speaking to tom like the, the the stuff that he wants to do i'm more than on board with like He's not a fan of the big shroud that's up here. Mm -hmm. And this is big and heavy. And they did do, it's 
all the choice parts that he's choosing isn't just random modifications. They are parts that have been available on bullets okay. over the years. So the aluminium binnacle comes from Hitchcock's. It's single speedo and it's designed to be a reproduction of a, a genuine Royal Enfield part. So I think it's quite sympathetic. And then well, things like he wants to do upgraded rear shock absorbers. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I don't think... Well, that one's the same. I thought this was split then, but that one's the same, so it must be purpose. But I don't think it's highly inappropriate modifications or significant modification. No, that one says something really smells. Smells? Yeah, it's a bike smell. Oh. Like, it's not a me or you smell. <laughs> <laughs> Although some... sometimes you do smell. But no, it's uh, something uh, off the bike. Oh. Oh, is this going to be low stuff? I'm going to sit on the floor. Oh. Okay. Uh, one battery tray. It's like this. Look. This ain't standard. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> that was a, oh no, look at that. Jointed and 10 miles long. That was a very Birmingham right then when you said right. that ain't right. <laughs> That ain't right. More spiky things. And people have been asking if I'm going to bake anything. So I will at some point, but my gardening hobbies took over a little bit. I've been in the garden. Back to it. I know. Summer's going to turn up at some point and I'm going to want to sit in it. So. In reality, what was happening was Emily was still at the workshop door covered in oil. Working on motorbikes going, nobody's doing the gardening. Yeah, that is what happened. So I've done some gardening and my berry bushes are going to fruit and then I'll make jam. And then the scones gone, scones gone. Scones? Scones gone. Fruit ones. Fruit scones gone. Oh, they're bolt on, look at that. Yeah. Start into a bolt. Yeah. Water. Oh, is that all that was? Yeah. Yeah. FYI, completely unbike related, yeah. but if people are foodies, last week I went to the BBC Good Food Show <laughs> at the NEC. I have not stopped hearing about this. It was really good. There was so much I could eat. <laughs> um, yeah, the BBC Good Food Show and BBC Gardener's World Show down at the NEC. Really, really good. Oh, you got fudge, didn't you? Oh, I did get fudge. I got loads of things. Munchy seeds, peanut butter, cheese. <laughs> Gotta love the cheese. Spiky thing. This is a spiky thing. Get yeah. off. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Get off. Yeah, I find it really interesting putting mine back on. Yeah. Strange. And most people hate it. But this is where we're different, like, and this is how we would do things differently because I don't mind unclipping things and taking things off so then you're exposed to something and you can see it all. But then why, I mean, I haven't got the patience to sit and mess with and put back together. But you, you love the thrill of finding out what the problem is and Mate. finding... Most people would be probably freaking out now because they just take photos of all of this as you're unplugging it. I'll just keep it out. <laughs> figure it out afterwards. There it is. There it is. No yeah. more worrying. You love chasing the problem to something and finding out what's the matter. And then once it's fixed and functional, that's mm. where your interest finishes. Bored. 
Okay. Okay. What is interesting is Tom is picking me up tomorrow. Mm-hmm. For work. Boo. Yeah, because we're down to one car, and I've had the one car for four days in the last two weeks, and Joe is so trapped in I'm the trapped. house. I'm trapped, got no car. Can't go about anywhere. Can't go anywhere. He's not got a bike he can ride, he's trapped. It's rained. <laughs> <coughs> you know they're made of sugar. They don't go out in the rain. They dissolve. Anyway, Tom's picking you up tomorrow, that's yes. the interesting thing. Tom's picking me up tomorrow. So he will see this for the first time since we picked, well, I picked him up from his house. One thing that is good about Royal Enfield. Just the one uh, thing. No, one of the things. <laughs> like with this rail, when we saw that the slots were there, so you're just slacking it off and yeah, put yeah. off. They do the same for the exhaust. Ah. Oh, I see. Come on. <laughs> Got you. Not as heavy as I thought it was going to be, actually. If that's I see going. no ships. <laughs> you see no ships? I see no ships. So if that's going and not coming back, is that going with Tom tomorrow when he picks yeah, it up? Yeah, it is. That's good. Yeah. Send other people's stuff to other people's houses. Yeah. Right, that. I was going to say, what about the one this side? It's only got one. It's only got one. <laughs> Bless it. So I think these are. Oh, you got that one. Because these are going, aren't they? Yep. You're not a fan, are you? No. <laughs> and I have got as well, I'm going to speak to a very, very kind neighbour of ours who has a talent for drawing things. Because unlike Jay, my brain works in a different way and I can't visualize things. I can get lots of ideas for things and I can put my ideas on a Pinfest board, but I can't then look at the separate things and in my head view it as a finished one product. No. But our neighbors are very good at drawing and I'm gonna, speak to them to see if I can give them all my ideas as separate pieces and they sort of do their funky computer drawing skills and put it me together so that I can see it and see if I think my vision what I think I want in my head whether it comes out as something I want on paper and in life and then have something to aim for yeah <clears throat> they are a very good artist aren't they Mm, yeah, that works really good. Come on. And given that their cat practically lives at our house as well, I feel they are as... You've been in plenty of videos. <laughs> Come on. There we go. One of those. You're on a roll. Well, it's coming apart. And you say he's keeping these wheels now? Yeah. He just wants me to clean all them spokes. Yeah, they're not actually as bad as I thought they were. No, oh, that's the clamp bolt as well. Okay. So, back wheel out. Oh. And that's going to about do it for this video guys. Um, the reason Emily was working on her own in that last section, unfortunately the audio didn't work, was because um, I was sat at the side of the road in the MGB 
uh, spewing coolant all over the floor, overheating and other fun activities. So I've got a load of work done on that. I don't know whether to put that on the channel or not. So drop in the comments below. If you'd be interested in seeing any content on the MGB, um, then we could probably do some extra videos, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's done a stellar job getting it to this point, all the front end, well, front wheels out and everything. So in the next video, we're going to get all the front end off. We'll service the forks, get these all polished up, ready to go. Tom has ordered some parts, so we'll get the uh, new binnacle, and get the front end back on the frame effectively. This is just going to be touched in. We're not going for a full powder coat. Um, we do need to get the engine out. We're doing piston upgrade uh, and a few bits in there and service. But we're about to get onto the U-turn. Hopefully, in the next video, we'll have a list of all the parts, everything we're changing, and uh, yeah, give you a full lowdown of how this bike's going to look. There's also another surprise coming, but I won't get into that now. Uh, but yeah, um, I'll quickly show you the MGB, show you what I'm up to. I'm covered in rubbish. Um, so yes, here it is on an axle stand. I've had to do a coolant drain, full flush of the radiator, but. The engine is in, um, it's running, it drives pretty nice to be fair. Uh, this is a V8 prepped car, hence the uh, big holes in the wings. We had a bit of a problem with our V8, so we're, uh, we currently got this engine on part by part loan from a good friend of mine, Martin, who happens to have his own work, uh, YouTube channel actually, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. You can check that out. Uh, and the video of doing this will actually be on his channel, so as soon as that comes out, I will let you know. Uh, but yeah, this is what has been occupying my time, trying to get, I must be mad, but I'm going to use this as a daily driver for the foreseeable until we find a, a car that we like. So yeah, there you are, 1970 MGB, factory order black. Thank you for joining us both in this video. We are thoroughly enjoying this project um, and we're very excited about what's coming and what the plans are for this bike. So uh, give us a like, subscribe, all the good stuff as per usual and we will see you in the next one.